Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are visiting one of the premier royal palaces in Europe that is Schloss and Nymphenburg or Nymphenburg Palace. So before we start exploring this palace, let's grab an ice cream which is pretty famous here near Nymphenburg Palace. So if you're planning to come, uh, just have a scoop of ice cream and then start exploring. This is one of the most beautiful tourist attractions in Germany. Uh, this palace is a Baroque palace uh, situated in Munich's western district Nordhausen in Fumburg in Bavaria, southern Germany. This palace was the main summer residence for the former rulers of Bavaria. There is a perfect pond in front of this palace. It's certainly worth a visit guys, it's really beautiful. This palace was founded as a summer residence for Max Emanuel who was a long-awaited heir to the throne. It was commissioned in 1664 by his parents, electoral couple Ferdinand Maria and Henriette Adelaide of Savoy after the birth of their son Maximilian II Emmanuel who was born in 1662. Max Emmanuel was born to them after 10 years of marriage. To celebrate this, they founded this palace. Wow! So let's enter the palace. As soon as you enter the palace, you will see a souvenir shop. So we'll come back to this later. First, let's buy the ticket. So here is the ticket. Let's get started with the Great Hall. So we are entering into the Great Hall. As you can see, the walls are painted white and you can see the beautiful ceiling. So this work, the ceiling work is done by Johann Baptist Zimmermann. He's the most famous Baroque artist in Bavaria. So and this was his last work. So Zimmermann was 76 when he painted the ceiling. So he painted like Michelangelo. He was lying on his back for about 10 months to complete the ceiling painting. Oh my god. So the huge uh, ceiling painting uh, depicts the Olympian heaven symbolizing the duty of the ruler to bring and receive peace. When Max III was ruling, he wanted this hall as a concert hall. So we can even find music instruments about these doors. These decorations are amazing. You can see the music instruments. So they say the basic form of the central room in the palace has not been changed since it was first built. It's just maintained. We are entering the sound antechamber. This was the antechamber providing access to the apartment of Electress Henrietta, who was the Maximilian's mother. We can even find a German Emperor's portrait here, which is Karl Albrecht. So now we are getting into the gallery, South Gallery. Uh, this is the corridor leading to the Electress' private apartment. Now let's get into beauty gallery. This is the main attraction of this palace, the beauty gallery of King Ludwig I. It was very famous because for the first time every social rank was portrayed. Not only the ladies from the court but all the beautiful girls whom the king liked. All the paintings were painted by the same person. Next we are getting into the room called uh, Blue Saloon. The furniture here looks very different from what we have seen before. This furniture was a present by Napoleon to the first Bavarian king, Max I Joseph. This room is a queen's audience room. Next, we are visiting Queen's Bedchamber. This was the birthplace of King Ludwig II. Um, Queen Caroline's Bedchamber still has its original furnishings uh, with mahogany furniture, which was made in Munich. So, we are visiting Queen's study room. 
this is a room which is furnished with a small suite of chairs and drawing table was reserved for more intimate receptions and queen carolyn's personal interest next is ante chamber which are covered with red damask so you can see two large paintings of electoral family the ceiling paintings are much older than us this was painted in 1675 so beautiful isn't it painted all with a natural colors still it's unfaded next we are moving on to the bed chamber the electress slept beneath a ceiling picture of a flower goddess flora which was done by joseph werner this room has the brightest of ceiling paintings the elector at that time governed from this bed and ministers showed up and they got their orders from bed So next we are moving on to the northern wing. So now we visited southern wing. So crossing the great hall, we should move on to the northern wing. This palace has intricate uh, parquet floors, uh, which means flooring composed of wooden blocks arranged in geometric pattern, and also it has colorfully painted ceilings, paintings, gallery, and luxurious period rooms. So now we are getting onto the northern wing. This small hall is an intact example of a French style of interior design at that time. So Max Emmanuel devoted himself in decorating his summer residence. As a successful general elector, Max Emmanuel created a monument to himself in this room. Next, we are onto the antechamber. In this antechamber the white damask curtains were reconstructed in 2014 from old inventory descriptions. Moving on to the bed chamber these a uh, suite of rooms are uh, served as a guest apartment. So the Persian seating is the part of heritage from the Duke of Zweibrücken. The yellow silk material with white trophies was reconstructed in 2014. Next, oh, we are on to the coat of arms chamber. And then on to Karl Theodor chamber. This room shows portraits of Elector Karl Theodor as Grand Master of the Orders of St George and his wife Elizabeth Augusta. So now we come back to Savinier shop. Here you can see photo frames, books, glasses. and cushion cover plenty of things can you even see the miniature dolls small crown This was worth a visit and a wonderful visit, I would say. So definitely, if you're staying in Munich, you should come and visit this palace. So soon, I'll be doing a vlog on Nymphenburg Park. So thank you so much for watching this video.